Good evening, you pretty much awful quilts. Um, I am going to go through a very quick uh, roundup of the um, transfer window that we've just gone through. Um, obviously, the the summer window is usually the most exciting um, and competitive window that we go through throughout the year. Um, January usually is the the second most, um, but this one was um, a lot more exciting than usual um so just before we go off um i just thought um start with the obvious um i've obviously gone for a slightly different look at the moment um and this is um kind of i was feeling sorry for the bottom place team in the league at the moment um which is obviously john and um, kind of in solidarity with him, I thought that I would go for the look that he has been rocking. Um, so you're welcome, John, you're welcome. Um, so very quickly, I'm gonna go through um, what we have all brought in, um, what we've all let go fuck off um, in the, uh, the last uh, two weeks or so. Um, so this window has been, I think, the most talent has been available um, for selection um, and if we just look at some of the players that have moved um, and even if you consider it um, over the last few years um, the players that have come in and gone out um, if we were to look at this player list say the first year um, that we did this um, it's quite astonishing really so some of the players that have come in Falcao, Di Maria, Balotelli, um, Eto. Um, and even looking at some of the players that we've let go um, is, is equally um, impressive. So Navas um, was obviously the second trade pick in last year's window. Um, there's also, say, Kagawa, Podolski, Czech, um, and um, yeah, so it, there's a lot of very good players. Also, obviously, uh, Negredo as well. Um, so there's a lot of um, very talented players that have come and gone um, in that time so it's exciting times exciting times um, so team by team let's just have a quick um, look at uh, what we've each done um, first of all well, I'll go through the order that we traded in um, first of all myself um, I brought in Falcao um, Saido Main um, Mane Mane I don't know something African, I don't know. I, I don't even know where in Africa. I'm just going to come across as a massive, massive racist. Um, so I'll, I'll just shut up. And also, most excitingly, Stephen Naismith. Um, and I was far too excited um, to sign Naismith. I was actually more excited um, to sign Naismith than I was Falcao. That doesn't mean I'm going to let Falcao go, let me just say. Um, and they were in place of David the Difference Nugent. Not really the difference. Um, Jesus Navas and Corker. Not terrible. Not great. <laughs> um, second, um, Sam um, brought in Di Maria and Dyer. Um, now, I would say that I think that if I was a betting man, and I am a betting man, um, Di Maria is probably my favourite um, to be end up this season as being the top scoring player. So. To have him and Costa in his squad, um, I think Sam has uh, a squad to be really reckoned with. Um, so he's done very well. Um, then Dyer obviously came in for Stephen, league champion winning Davis. Um, if you didn't know, uh, Davis won the league um, for Sam last season. Um, so I know that it was very hard for Sam to let him go, uh, but it probably was um, the right decision. And these type of tough decisions need to be made if you want to win a league title again. Um, I wouldn't know about winning a league title again um, because I lost. But, you know... I'll have to make tough decisions this year if I want to get back on the winning horse. Um, I'm rambling. I'm rambling. Um, then we, I'm just going to have a, 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 bit, a bit of beer. So, Anthony, next. 
Balotelli came in for Gower, but but wait. Um, Balotelli was instantly traded for Rooney, so I have now got Balotelli and um, Anthony has got um, Rooney. I think it's a decent trade for both involved. Um, Fabianski has come in for Petr Cech. Um, Eric Dyer has come in for Vlad Chiriches, who both myself and Anthony have been burned on. Um, I like him as a player, but he's just not playing. Um, therefore, he must be shit. Um, next in is Routledge for Podolski. And that was the conclusion of Anthony's trading. Um, John, and I do feel sorry for John, and it's not just because of the hair. Um, he has had a lot of bad luck. Um, and there's a certain level of sympathy that I have with him, but but it, it ends when I remember that he's a Spurs fan. <laughs> and you know, then I remember, it's okay, Jamie, you're the better man. Um, so he's brought in Steven Jovetic, very good signing, I will just say. For Giroud, very unlucky that he's out till Christmas. Uh, then he's brought in Rojo um, for Holtby. It's a real shame to see that Holtby um, didn't really make it in the league. Um, and it's also a real shame that Rojo has arrived because every single time that I see Rojo play and hear the commentators see uh, read his name, all I can think of is row, row, row your boat. And it really does my fucking nut in. Um, so <laughs> thanks, John. Thanks. Um, then Rangel for Davies. I personally think that Davies... Um, will be a very good player. Uh, I rate him pretty much on equal um, with Shaw, but we'll see how that one works out. Schneidlin came in for Odom Wingy. Um, again, a shame, Odom Wingy out for the season with a knee injury. Could have done well, but didn't because he's got shit knees. Um, and then Shawcross came in for Barini. Um, again, a shame. If he had moved, would have been a good signing, but he didn't, so it's not. Um, Dave brought in Nathaniel Klein, who remembered his name, um, brought him in for Nastasic. I've got no idea why he signed him in the first place. Um, he then brought him in for injury-prone De Jong. And, wait, what's that? De Jong's out for four months. Okay, so, um, yeah, that worked out well then. Um, and he brought him in for Zamora. I don't know why he signed him in the first place. Um, next up was Chadley um, for Nolan. I don't know why he signed him in the first place three seasons in a row. He's like Big Fat Sam, who he fucking hates. Um, then two solid players coming in. Solid. Um, McGee Dianetto. You've come up in my estimation, but I still think you're a cunt. Um, I will just say, I haven't actually called Dave a cunt um, in one of these videos for a while. So, um, you know, Dave, you're a cunt. Um, it's been coming. It's been coming. They come in for Markovic and Gomis. Um, finally, uh, Maz brought in um, Abel Hernandez, who I don't really rate, but... We'll see how he does um, for Negredo. And Marino came in for Aga. And finally, Rodriguez, bit of a gamble, um, came in for Lambert. Um, obviously playing the uh, long game plan with that one. Um, and technically, Maz has got until 5pm um, tomorrow um, to make his final trade. Um, if he wants to. Um, but we'll see. We'll see. Um I thought I'd just, again, very quickly go through some of the trades that we made in year one. It's quite amusing. Um, obviously, John wasn't involved, um, but I'm going to blame all of Joe's trades on John, um, because it's clearly John's fault. Um, so, starting with that point, the most hilarious trades um, came from Joe John. Um, so, in year one... Joe John had the second pick in the trade window and Joe John decided that he would get rid of Jem Karachen, you know, brilliant signing, and would bring him in, of course, for Mladen Petric. Well done, Joe John. Well done, Joe John. Um, 
he also thought that um, swapping <laughs> Paul Scholes for Michael Owen would be a great move. And it was, Joe John. And it was. Um, a few other rather depressing um, trades. Um, and some of them worked out to a relative degree. Uh, but just on paper, just looking at the names, it is depressing. Um, Sam swapped Adam LaFondra for Stephen Fletcher. And it, it just... On my tongue, it feels depressing. Um, Ant also swapped Alex Song for Pop Bregniak. So why are we doing these things? Um, obviously, my list of outgoing players was just as awful. Johnny Hauser, Darren Bent, Richards... And Shay given. It's just fucking awful. So, yeah. Luckily, we've learned a lot now, though, and we're all brilliant people, and we're all really happy. Um, as a final little thing, um, I, I did a quick um, uh, totting up of how much each of our squads were, and it, it, it's um, it's rather interesting to see. Oh wait, sorry. One final thing, um, I had said, mentioned about um, a bottle of champagne um, for anybody that signed one certain player um, who's written down on a certain piece of paper. Um, unfortunately, nobody signed that player, so nobody's getting the champagne. Um, but if anybody signs him on a later window, that could happen. Um, so, yeah, we're not there yet, um, but it could still happen, so we'll see what happens. Um, so, Squad values. Um, I was kind of interested to see how much each of our squads worth, who had the most expensive squad, the cheapest squad, so on and so forth. I like stupid, shitty little facts. Um, so I thought maybe you lot would like stupid, shitty little facts. Um, so my squad is the most expensive um, at a, a value of £289 million. £289 million pounds it's a lot of money um second most expensive squads uh, was anthony at 249 and um, third john 228 um fourth was dave at 207 sam a value of 204 and the cheapest squad in the league um, at present is Maz at a cool 199 million pounds. Um, so I think, yeah, it, it's kind of interesting to kind of see the ordering of how much people have spent on their squads, or you know, in a free market, how much each person's squads uh, will have will have will have been worth. Uh, one little interesting fact. Um, Sam has the most expensive player in the league and the cheapest player in the league if we discount um, youth players. Um, so, obviously, Angel Di Maria at £60.1 million, pounds, whatever it was, uh, most expensive player in the league. Um, and the cheapest player in the league, Seamus Coleman at £60,000. Um, so, yeah, a nice little quirk that has come out there. Um, one thing that I was really shocked at when I was looking at all this is how much Willian playing for Dave cost. Willian cost £32 million. Pounds. Like, how did that happen? Um, but also, the most shocking thing that I came up with um, was that the total value of all of our squads combined would be £1.37 billion, pounds, which is the national GDP of San Marino. So... As football fans, I, th I hope that we are all very happy with that. I certainly am. I hope you have a very nice evening. Um, and I shall see you in two game weeks time um, for Prague. I'm very excited. I hope that Dave doesn't turn up, but I'm still very excited. Have a good evening. Have a good week. Have a good weekend. And I'll see you next weekend for Prague. Right. See you later, you cunts.